Hecky Dokey. Hello, y'all. Uh, art students use life experiences to form abstract creations. That's like I said before, you know, you put everything into it, you know, so uh, there you go. Uh, with this, it don't show no pictures, damn it. <laughs> um, I reloaded a couple of times and still. Anyway, uh, it says Devin R. Mitchell offers a world of whimsy in his art. Liam Bessonet, however you say his name. Sorry. Meanwhile, takes a walk, a wild walk on the dark side. Chop it all up to college experimentation. <laughs> anyway, that's part of the fun and fascination of interpreting the work of these two artists, both product of rural communities near Emory and Henry College, where they both study studio art. Uh, they're trying to go for really emotive responses. It, when, when, this is a little, you know, not putting it down, but, you know, don't, something like that, and you want it to be full, full of emotion, don't, have to try, you know, so, uh, but like I said last night on the show, you know, our life experiences and our environment shapes who we are and how we express that in our art and music and whatever you do, you know, um, but I, I just, you know, wanted to show that for that reason, you know, your life experiences shape who you are and it reflects off into everything else you do, you know, and stuff, so, um, block design, uh, identity, what's the deal with identity? Uh, they want to engage the viewer and create these mental sensations beyond just the physical form of the piece. They want you to feel it, more or less, is what they're saying. Uh, and if you create, yeah, you know, you want people to feel it, like with music, you can feel it here, you know, and touch, you can't touch it there, but like with a piece of art, you know, you can reach out and touch it. And you feel everything the artist, whatever you want to call them, the person put into what emotions they put into that, what part of their soul they put into it, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, and here it is. I'm sorry, I'm on my slow, crappy computer here. Um, there it is. You know, you also, you know, pick up from other people as well. They may not even be anybody near you. It could be somebody far away that you're close to, you know. Um, that can be reflected in your art as well. Whatever you do. Uh, the ESP or whatever. Whatever you want. You know, the connection uh, that we make with each other on here because we can't physically touch each other. You know what I'm saying. Anyway. But that connection, that's real. It's something you feel. Uh, anyway. In Ocean City, Art League brings fine art to life. <coughs> you can click watch the video if you want there. I'll leave these links. Uh, the Worcester County budget proposed to delete money and support for the Art League of Ocean City. Uh, it's an attraction there in the resort town. Uh, the Art League was, uh, was located in a rundown building, but once the new center opened, it blossomed, and it's a hub for artistic activities for, excuse me, recent retirees, long-time county and Ocean City residents and local school children. 
it enriches the lives of so many people. It's made it a destination for a variety of people. And they're wanting to cut funding for this place. No surprise there. Because, uh, like I read last night from that <clears throat> thing from the school. Uh, uh, I know school, but, you know, uh, the arts, you know, is an important part of us, you know, it's, like I said, it's an extension of you, of yourself, and it makes you better, can make you, make you better being, you know, uh, and to, to deny people that, to see that, like, they, like, the, the, Like the, they're trying to do here, you know, and the, and then and go like back in Nazi Germany and shit like that, you know, where they took all that shit from people. They didn't want to have nothing pleasant to look at or, or to make them happy, you know. And that's what what's going on here, you know. They see people coming together and stuff and creating and happiness and joy and love being spread and oh no. Can't have that. Anyway, moving on. You can look more into that if you want, if you live in that area or whatever. Um, art show displays 300 pieces from students at local high school. Wow. That's too. Yeah. It's in Washington State. Uh, 300 pieces from local high school students at A.C. Davis High School in Yakima. Various pieces from drawing, painting, and visual arts courses are on display through the week and much. The drawings would turn out as well as they, you know, yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they said, listen here, says I haven't had much experience with art. This is barely the beginning for me, here it is, says, I'd say I was really surprised at how my portrait turned out. The art teacher, Carol Hull, said many of the students' participants are beginners with very limited background in art coming into high school. The show will be open for class tours and classes could connect to a writing reflection assignment with the exhibit. She's happy, once happy to see her work, appreciated by her classmates. Uh, just makes us feel almost like, wow, we are ha doing quality work that other people can appreciate even without knowing us. That's what it's all about, you know. Um, anyway, it's open through May 25th, and it's open to the public during school hours, 7.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thursday and Friday. Some of the displayed art is for sale. Uh, so, anyway. That's kind of like but that's that's amazing, you know. A lot of these are beginners, and it just tells you, you know, how how wonderful the mind is, you know, how quick people can pick up on things. And that was really good too. Um, to sit there, see. Anyway, <clears throat> and this one, art in the wild brings delight to art and nature. Is Cherry Blossom, that's her painting. Uh, his vase, Metallica. <laughs> hey man, he created something. That's yeah, cool. Uh, Arts in the Wild and Kane held in 2016. That was the winner's bid. 2018 show will be held June 23rd to the 4th. Like I said, this computer is like, so I can't really look into stuff like I really want to on this one, so uh, let me scroll, please. Ah. No! 
think the computer. Well, see, there's a good look at. I'm stuck there. So let me freaking scroll. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna move on. Anyway, I mean, it brings together arts in the wild, you know, art and nature together. Eh. Please? Back to that. Yeah, sorry. Uh, anyway, 2018. Spoleto Festival in Charleston, South Carolina. Even uh, festival is uh, kicking off in South Carolina. Starts at noon Friday. I wish I could go. This is in Charleston. That's the only place I'm here. Uh, the Charles in front of the Charleston City Charles Town. The festival runs through June tenth and includes opera, theater, dance performances as well as chamber, symphonic, choral, and jazz music. It was started in nineteen seventy seven by Pulitzer Prize winning composer Gian Giancarlo Minotti. I guess that's all. Anyway. If you like you know, the music stuff, yeah, you know, I like some of that stuff. Uh, it's relaxing. Anyway, here's more about it if you want to look. There's the. Maybe it'll open. Can you it? Okay. And there you know, you look at this. Excuse me, wait out there, and there's a bat there. Um, there's um, music there, where it says, um, road closures. Of course, they're going to have the roads blocked off and stuff, so y'all that live in the area, y'all probably, if you go in that area during this time, be aware of the road closures because of this. If you're going to the beach for vacation or whatever, uh, Charlestown. Uh, ooh, ooh, yeah. See, there's that. There's some stuff. Really, if you, like I said, if you're into the, you know, that kind of music and stuff, and that's something you just check out if you, if you're in the area. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, he reveals when he knew Meghan Markle was the one, and they told him she was. Y'all know, y'all know the shit with that shit. Anyway, that gag. <sighs> okay, yeah, like I said, I'm trying to get back to this one here. Like I said, there's a link to the website there. Take it out. My shirt says, just do it. Just do it. Uh, don't let your talent go to waste. Uh, see. Pennsylvania. Thank you. Uh, each year for two days, artists are invited to set up shop out in the Pennsylvania wilderness to the delight of art and nature lovers. I'd love to go to this one. Wow. Hey, it's, hey, it's June. That would be an, a fun road trip to go over there. Anyway, anybody? Hmm? Uh, Arts in the Wild is an outdoor art show set in beautifully wooded Evergreen Park in the center of Kane, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's located on Route 66, which is also South Fraley Street between Chestnut Street and Birch Street. Admission is free. It provides a unique opportunity for area residents to see a large collection of high quality artwork in one place. Family friendly. Um, it attracts artists from not only across the region but even across Pennsylvania and surrounding area, uh, states. This year, with 40 creators invited to participate in the jury show, there will be more visual artwork than any past year to enjoy. So, this will be a good year to go to this if you, in the area. If you're playing, if you see this and want to go, if you're into the art stuff, you know, there you go. A list of the artists and sam samples of the work can be found there. 
It's not just a show of steel pieces. Visitors will have a chance to watch some artists at work as demonstrations are part of the event. It gives the public an inside peek at how uh, artists create their work, artwork. Uh, in addition to the adult artist sections, the event will showcase work of budding artists from the area. There will be a student art show with several local schools, noting that prizes in the student show will be awarded on the morning of June 23rd. Uh, several food vendors will set up. You know, we'll have food and stuff. Uh, follow them on Instagram and all that stuff if you want there. Uh, it's in cooperation with the Wild Cooperative of Pennsylvania, the Allegheny National Forest Vacation Bureau, and the Kane Chamber of Commerce. 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 The Lilith. See, they're actually encouraging it, whereas this place is trying to kill it. The Ocean City there. Uh, wanting to, to cut to support for the Art League of Ocean City. Uh, see, they had been restricted there too, but anyway, okie dokie, there's, there's the Spoleto Festival, I'm sorry I went back and forth, but like I said, this shit, it's, it's one of them, the Spoleto Festival, USA, Charleston, South Carolina is one of America's major performing art festivals. It was founded in 77 by Giancarlo Minotti, who sought to establish a counterpart to the festival. However, you say that. Anyway, the Festival of Two Worlds in Spoleto, Italy. Uh, there, you know, you're looking at, at this and stuff if you want there. Um, anyway, here's a little. Two cellos. Awesome. Thunderstruck. Anyway. Um, okay. Um, okay, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Like, it, as you look at all this, this art and stuff, you see, like I said here to the beginning, the emotion and stuff that, that goes into creating something like this. It's um, not going to show. Sorry. Oop. Okay, there we go. Okay, do Right. That's, uh, you know, a way to express how we feel about certain things and, and stuff. And it's really important to do that, to express that in that way, in the positive way, you know, to, to, to help others. Because, uh, you know, they may be on the same they feel the same that you do and they'll pick that up from that painting or, or whatever like the music I said you know anyway we're all connected in that way you know we're, we're we all we all feel different differently about things but on a lot of things you know you can totally relate to, to things <clears throat> that they're trying to express there, you just get it. So where some people, some things, you're, they're just like, what? What is, I don't even get that, you know, type of thing. Like <laughs> some of mine, it's like, I don't even, some some of them, I, I don't even like. I'm like, oh my God, that looks like crap. And everybody's like, oh my God, no, that's so pretty, you know. And I'm, this one here, you can't see the flower. I'm like, oh my God, that sucks. And like, oh my God, my friend said, oh my God, that is beautiful. I love it, you know, and, and people see, people see it when they see it. You may not see it at first, but, but when they see it, they see all, they see it, they get it. Or, like I said, you, you may not get it at first, but you painted it, you know. Uh, it, you know what I'm trying to say with this. Um, the, thank you Bella, thank you Bella, she found her toy, anyway, um, and, you 
you know, people go through life thinking, you know, nobody understands me, nobody loves me, nobody gets me, you know, that it, but that's so not true, you know, you just don't know until you, if you ask the person, you know, or show the person, you know, hey, this is me, this is how I feel here in this painting, you know, or whatever you do, you know, or you just speak it, tell it, you know, you never know until you do express yourself in that way. How are they going to know who you really are? That's another part, that's another reason why, you know, the arts are so important, you know, in that, because if you keep that all bottled up inside, man, it'll just, it, it, it hurts you. It really, it hurts. Physically, it will hurt you. So, don't do that. You know. Anyway, take care of y'all. I'm just rambling a little bit there and stuff. But you get the now. So, uh, take care, everybody. Have a great day. Rest of the day. Not. I hope, you, I hope it gets better. Just be positive. It'll get better. Anyway. Um. It's rainy here, so but still. Um not gonna let it damp my day there. Uh, so don't let it damp your day. Don't let don't let shit get to you. Uh learn to relax and have fun and appreciate what you have there, you know, your friends, family and stuff. Anyway, take care y'all. I love you. Mm. Mm.